Hello students, in this video we are going to learn about full custom design. In our previous video we saw about semi custom design where we used standard cells and those cells will be placed in certain locations and only masking was done for interconnect means we just interconnected or we used interconnects just for connecting the standard cells. We were not designing the individual logic circuits or the gates or the transistors. Everything was built and we just placed those built cells or standard cells and then we performed the interconnection. And there we, there we also saw the various types based on the semi-custom design. We saw about the cell-based design as well as we saw about the gate-based design or gate array-based design. So we had channeled, channelless, and structured gate array. And there the concept was so simple that there were standard cells or the built-in cells and we just placed the built-in cells from the library and we gave the interconnection. Whereas in full custom design, the designers do not use the pre-designed standard cell library. That's what I just recapped what we learned previously. In standard cell, we had standard cell library, whereas in full custom design, we don't have such libraries. So what we can do for designing? We have to start the entire chip or you have to decide or design the entire chip from scratch. We, as we don't have any pre-designed standard cell library, means consider there is a library, a normal library, where we will be having collection of books. And from any books, whatever books we want, we can just take it and we can refer to it and we can keep it back. Those was the case for semi-custom design. Okay, now in full custom design, now there is no library, means I need some content and that content will not be available in any particular library. In such cases, you have to start everything from scratch. That is the case of full custom design. As each and every part is designed in this approach, here each and every part we will be designing. So we need to start everything from scratch. Because of that, our chips are highly optimized for area, power, and speed. Because we are doing everything, so we must make sure that our circuit or the design is highly optimized for area, power, and speed. We must not waste our area. Because in previous structure, we saw standard cells. There will be various cells, but we were connecting only the things that we needed. Maybe there will be many adders or subtractors or so and so, everything will be there. Whatever we want from the sea of arrays, we will just take and give the interconnection. So there was an area was a problem and there will be a speed problem and power problem also do happen in your standard cell-based semi-custom design. Whereas now in full custom design, as we are starting everything from scratch, we can keep or design only the things that we require. So the chips are highly optimized for area, power and speed. Now in full custom design, which is always superior to any other design style, just because it can be optimized for area, power, and speed. And the full custom design cycle time is high compared to other design cells. Consider the same example, like we want to write an essay on some topic, and you know that that particular topic is there in the book called X. The text is available in a library. You can go to the library, you can take that book, and you can just take the information regarding to their essay and everything will be completed. If suppose I am giving you prepare a title on so and so that is considered X and X, you will be going to the library and you are saying that the book is not available in that library. Then what you will do, you may search in Google or internet or whatever cases or you will ask the elders. So the time for completing this particular essay will high. So the same way, the full custom design cycle, as you are customizing everything on your own, the cycle time is high compared to others' design style. And it can be used for high performance and high volume product. See, this is used for high performance before because definitely you are optimizing everything. So definitely it can be used for high performance as well as if I want a particular product in huge volume. 
okay if i want nearly lakhs and lakhs of particular circuit then i can go for the full custom design because lakhs and lakhs of circuit must not be wasted so i can do with the higher performance based on the full custom design so for huge volume products i can go for full custom design just because the designer can control the shape of all mask patterns we can just shape everything so designers can specify the design up to the level of individual transistors so we can design up to the level of individual transistors each circuit element is carefully handcrafted as it is a full custom design whatever each and every circuit element will be carefully handcrafted but it takes a huge design effort and high cost all the layers are optimized for an embedded system particular digital implementation so we are optimizing everything and it produces or it cost high and there will be a huge design effort because we are taking a lot of stress for designing each and every circuit element so here we can decide where to place our transistors what will be the size of my transistors and how to route my particular devices okay so routing wires placing your transistors and sizing transistor each and everything from the scratch you can just optimize everything on our own so the objective of full custom design is to produce the most efficient final design okay because it is high performance device so it's most efficient final design on a silicon possible within given time or cost constraint so our objective is within the given time or a cost we must give the efficient final design so maybe the time will be limited in that particular time how much amount of work you can do you can do and you can create the most efficient final design maybe that particular essay that i was to write you may write on your own if i give the duration as one week you may write only something if suppose i give you one week of time different or else if i give the time for one month the efficiency will increase when the time increases that's what it is given and then the full custom is used where cost is not an overriding parameter see it will take a huge amount of money so the full custom design will be used only cases where the efficiency is needed and perfection is needed and the cost is not a parameter see for avionics space and military requirements cost is not a parameter so they go for full custom design and they efficiently or they optimize the area speed and power at the cost of cost okay now the full custom design entails the circuit and the layout designed by persons expert in the detailed design of gate structures and interconnect topology at the design level or the silicon level means here the full custom design the designer that the persons who is expert in the particular design of the gate structure they will be making the structure so that it is 100% sure that that design will be a most efficient final design and you can incorporate only the circuit which you are functionally needed means in standard cell design we saw that there were very many gate arrays and we gave connections only to those which were needed whereas in this structure or full custom we can incorporate only the circuits which is functionally necessary i am optimizing my area and possible use of different device geometry size in different parts of the circuit in order to maximize the performance or minimize the silicon area you can have different device geometries in different part of the circuit that is what sizing of your transistors can be done on your own and then we can also in this the future of one of the futures of the full custom designers we can introduce a novel gate structure see i am saying that we saw in cmos cell various adder circuits were used all those were producing the same sum and carry but the optimization was done the novel gate structures can be made by using full custom design because in semi custom design all the things were available we just covered interconnection whereas here we can just produce or introduce a novel gate structure and the cost will be depending heavily upon the design time and the manpower involved so how many persons or the manpower involved and i said the cost will be high and only if you don't mind your cost we can go for the full custom design and the cost is high just because it is depending heavily upon the design time and the manpower involved so 
this is all about the full custom design in simple word you can design everything from the scratch means everything from the scratch means all the chip basic from the transistor sizing of the transistor placing of the transistor everything can be done on your own by optimizing the area cost and power so the advantage is definitely the excellent performance will be there small size and of course low power but what about the disadvantage it is high cost and the time to come to the market will be long so this is all about the advantages and disadvantages and about the full custom design hope you understood the video thank you